What's up guys? It's the new sensation, Big Annotation here. And today we're back with another T-2 deck profile. Today we've got Francesco Castaman, um, one of the newer members of T-2 joined us, and another resident black player, which I'm very happy to have on the team, uh, who recently came sixth place with Cumber, one of my favorite black decks. So it's amazing to hear. So how are you doing today, Francesco? I'm good. Hi, Oli. Uh, it's a very pleasure to be here. I'm glad and to hear it, man. I'm really pleased to introduce to everyone Cumber. So basically, Cumber came out in March in Cent 20. And since then, I always love how the whole archetype work with Overlord being like by opponent battle cards. And but the point was that when he came out, there was SS4 Gogeta around the red one, and it was pretty impossible to deal with that matchup. And so I slowly gave up on this deck. But as they banned him, and new uh, new cards came came up this last last month. Sorry. And so I wanted to test it out and it worked pretty well uh, on Sunday event. So I'll just go for the deck list. So um, the leader is um, when he swing, he draw one and he played uh, the field as when, when the game start. And he, it awakened with uh, the Fuzel Balkar and goes to six life and draw one top one. And when he is awakened, he still draws one when he swing and he can give servant to one of uh, my cards that I give to my opponent. So basically it's a really quick start as you charge one that energy and you got uh, the full Zabalar on on the battle area and so there's not pretty much to say in the early game with the leader uh, it's pretty the same as the last month so uh, I mean a few things about um, the prison planet of course the the field so starting with the field uh, there's a great opportunity right now there's a lot of deck that plays servant like Fu or I faced um, one of my matchup was the blue baby with servant ones and you can easily you, there, there are a few still uh, even Miki Kabura also has new servants I mean it's basically in the meta you got you find more servant than any other methods uh, as so any past meta so um, it's still good and we have a new fool that has overlord on the new set and uh, it works even that with the prison planet as well so you know uh, i'll just starting with the turn one so this is pretty basically the best look top five ever existed in black and when he came out in set 20 march you the um, i mean for the deck that we that i for the old deck list that i saw basically and including my own uh, he could like uh, add every single card in the deck basically except for the boss monster but now it's, it changed a bit because the, the new set cards are 7 drop and this has a 6 or less. Uh, but still, it is a card that I wanted to run like 8 copies, but I can't physically. So it's just running 4 and 3 of the Goku Sino as a draw. And, you know, uh, I got one game of 6 where I didn't draw the turn one, it's very important. It's the only way, it's the only thing you can do on turn one with combo is when you charge your first energy, you just pay one and combo and Z energy. 
and you got the the full on the turn two and it's pretty great play but you know it's, sometimes it's a card game so you know sometimes you got whiff but um I've, i think i draw two two or three games a goku and keep my hand with with a mulligan just for having a good start and you know it's there's still draw power at the beginning and uh, so still talking about adding cards as the one of the first servant is uh, trunks i of course we got the look top five uh at the same six or less which is massive and as you play this card on your opponent battle area the opponent needs to draw one discard one and it's a great play when oh maybe in like turn one where he mulligan all his end and every card in his end is great and you try to discard something great from that or when you swing with everything in late game and all the all that he had left in end was like four cards you just play this and he needs to discard one it could be a unison or extra useless but still is a some sort of end destruction and but it's a great card because you need to serve on them you need to give servant to them and then overload him to, to just for draw and uh, speaking of other servant i'll go with the vegeta which is a uh, free negate limit one uh, it's insane that black has a free negate it's limit one is fair but it's a free negate of any kind of swing could be leader uh, you know, Green Grow has like a huge triple strike thing with the ICR and also there's, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on green you know, and maybe any, any other color with uh, with the, the ending turn with a boss monster. It's still, you just play once for, for turn as you draw a lot and it works pretty well and the last one is I'm running two of the Goku, uh, which is fine to to combo and give it to your opponent. Then you can uh, still go for for Overlord. And there are a few things like uh, where you just play as activate main for one and swing for 25 double strike. It's very fine. And uh, uh, I, you know, uh, one 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 match that I remember is was the last game that I had against the Sing Say No Mill, which I was trying to find out how could I draw without milling all my deck. And the coolest thing that I found out about Comba is you can fight mill. If you draw bottom deck in your own cards, which is a um, minus zero card from your deck, but you draw one, it's like bottom deck and you draw one instead of losing cards from the deck. And I won four cards in my deck against seeing Sado, so it went well. So moving to a bit of Overlord, we got four copies of the the promo fool which is it's insane and i think this uh, i find out that right now at the moment you can draw five cards with combo on turn two basically when you on the awaken turn on turn two you just uh play the z p1 play the z ball card uh awaken draw one Swing one for leaders, draw two. You, if your opponent play has played a, a battle card the turn before, I'll just pay one for this, draw one, and you can play a uh, trunks in your opponent battle area. Give servant to with leader skill. So overlord one with him, 
And then the other battle card, you can just play the new combo right here. And when this card is played, draw one. So I got draw four. So, and give servant to the opponent battle card and then do the other overlord. That's five card draw in turn two. And my opponent could be like, um, with one energy and I draw five, like it happened against Tom with Blue Baby. And it helped me a lot, I got to say, but I'll talk about that later. So the only thing I, I, just, I just, I can say about this card is, this card is phenomenal. The draw is crazy. Um, it's more about the the auto when it's played. I come, I, the, the other auto is when you is a, when your leader is combo, you just swing and combo with the opponent servant Malkar. And I did like twice, I guess, the whole tournament. But most of the time it was just a free play. Well, uh, it was just a pay one, play, draw one, give servant, overlord, and draw another one. And it's an insane draw power. Actually running two of this, um, some people ask me why you're playing two because I don't had I don't have in have any other copies of this car. I got like last regional. I got like nine uh, championship selection booster pack and didn't and didn't find out not even one of this. So whatever. But, but it works out very really well, and I recommend everyone to play like three or four copies is fine, three at least. And so the other combo that gives servant is the dual attack. Uh, it I don't know it's it worked well against like blue decks or stuff when is or even go bro because he's a 15k leader. So it's fine with that, but as my opponent plays a Z leader with 20k power, it's pretty useless. I, I always love this card just for giving servant because uh, there are not so many cards that give servant to opponent card. And also is a six drop that I can add with the look top five thing. So, you know, that's pretty much it. And I want to move to some of the big monster. There would be the this combo right here. I play three copies here, and the fourth one is a sideboard against pretty much yellow. But the card itself, I really like the fact that you have plenty combo to put under the, this card. And so there's no problem at all to play it, and it's a um, fine removal. It's um, it's a bit tricky when sometimes I don't play uh, the combers at Balkar under the fools at Balkar just for saving cards in the uh, Z deck to making the energy cost uh, higher for the removal. Because, like, it's pretty tough for the. You have to think about the matchups and stuff. But there's a card like uh, Fated Rival, is a six drop barrier. And the Sun Goku one. And so. But anyway, most of the barrier is like a four, five drop. Uh, remember that playing against Gobro, I remove um, Cooler the one from Tele Champion Selection Volume 1. That's the double strike barrier. And so that's pretty fine. And also is a 25 that could be double strike you know, after when you got four more energy. It's a pretty good removal that it's a big new entry to me. And it was not so easy to remove card, especially ignoring barrier when we used to play Evil Saiyan months ago. So that's great. And this card can be played from the drop with this guy out, 
So when your opponent has three or more energy, you got to pay two for an Overlord that can Overlord opponent battle cards. Is a 25 dual attack. And you just play from the drop a seven drop combo that could be this or even this one. Um, I did, I, I think I did both of them, but I really do enjoy when I played this because you got to draw from Overlord and draw for him. And then you can swing, and when in activate battle, you can give servant to one of your combo and which is pretty great it's like 25 dual attack 35 swing and also you can but I it didn't happen sadly you can give servant to this guy out but that would be too much expensive as a paying two for this and two for that but you know just saying really like this guy out this this one is in the this did a really great job against the gobro because gobro basically after turn three can play multiple battle cards just pay one um, so he play so i've been against two gobros that play me like radish promo then the gobro eight drop then the Z battle card and stuff, the SS3 Broly Tyrant and stuff. So there are so many cards to deal with it. And you, the after he passed, you just play this and give seven to anyone. It's some sort of floodgates that I really love. And it triggers me the unexpected turn. That way, leaving the whole board with servant there. And also, you can combo those cards with a Z leader. There are so many things you can do, and of course, Overlord and draw. But there are so many things you can do, and even giving Servant to Zamazu, the one that is hand destruction, which is indestructible. You just uh, it just can restand in the charge phase because it's a Servant, and that's a really good way to avoid hand destruction and go bros. And also, you can push with Triple Strike if you know he has Dormant Potential because he can negate the attack with Dormant Potential. If you, if you see that uh, maybe Tom Uneasy, so the other uh, Floodgates is, is in the drop. So there are so many things you can do. I really like the fact that after like turn four, there were so many things that I that you could do with this deck. You can just play full. You can just go in for 25 double strike. Just pay one for this. You can pay two for this. You can play as a ball car. You can Z, uh, Z awaken. There are so many options on turn four that your opponent cannot expect it. So. I really enjoyed uh, la last tournament some last Sunday to play this because it was very unexpected to the people I guess I got to say so anyway and I'll go for the Overium that would be those two and so starting from here there are many many cards that I placed that, that I put on the main deck but they were all uh, black staples part because it's it was a best of one pre side event so I didn't never I didn't really care about the main deck list because you just shuffle with the sideboard before gaming and so there are many cards that would be probably weird to see but it was just uh, it, I just set up the deck that way so um, I left two spot for over him and there will be those two but every game that i had like most of the game that i had i started out for battery tenacious and uh, because it's not a deck that um, gives you like uh, a huge drop to warp for over him 
So I think that two over him is fine in deck. And I love the, the combination between those two. But Tenetius is pretty much necessary right now in the meta. So I swap the many, many times before starting game after, like, I mean, against green decks and stuff. So anyway, and so I got thwarting, which is pretty much thwarting, always work well. I do appreciate him because most of the deck that I've been, that I played against, uh, they were all running on Missile clone. So uh, it's, it, it is a great, great play against the token negate. So still is big play to do. Even this guy can be played on, like I was saying before, on turn four. They were all like massive play that you can do and the opponent, the, your opponent didn't expect it at all. So it's kind of interesting even how people could play against combo like in the early game could be something like that you don't leave your battle card there to give me the opportunity to bottom deck there with overlord and but at the end of like in the late game is pretty tough and pretty unexpected so anyway nothing about to say about this Super combo right here, best super combo since uh, set uh, 11, so fair enough. And so starting from the fence stuff, the fence table, I got to talk about the unexpected turn. I think in Cumber, uh, this card it works well in Cumber, like better than any other decks, I think. Because you just give them Vegeta, you just give them Trunks, and maybe the Goku. Uh, the the old cards that you, that you could just give Servant to them. And so when your opponent has three battle cards that cost two or more energy, you, you can just... Um, the card that will be... The, the is that will be play is sent to the drop immediately and then you got to warp every battle card that costs two or less ignoring barrier so what happened during last Sunday was that I play I, I played against the gobro and he played me the the eight drop gobro and I and I just played to negate the the entry it was pretty fine, not allow him to draw and not allow him to trigger the the green Saiyan skill that when they deal damage to me, I got to discard one. So went well with that because I mean, I wish I could do this against the Gohan and Goku card, the 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 one on the green Gohan, basically the boss monster, but is that flagged? So and. Cool mention that I need to say is that Fusa Balkar has the flag, so it prevents to getting ignore, uh, like to, to ignore. Uh, so how we, it prevents to get warped, uh, ignoring barrier. So because it has the flag, so it's immune to counter police kill. That's pretty much it. And uh, I'm running two of the Mask Saber and Watch No More. Uh, I was planning about like um, stealing some games when people just comboing out like the SCR that gives triple strike to, to the green go on, stuff like that. But it didn't happen very well. And also this, this was for some matchup a uh, uh, um, pretty much a card to exchange from the sideboard. But anyway, the, the the cool thing that I did with this was the last game against the Singseno mill, that he milled me the SCR 
and I just over -em the It was the only over -em that I got to send the, the Evil Saiyan to the Warp just for, for having a chance to play it. So it's still a huge over -em for 30k and they can fix your drop because you need the seven drop combo in the drop if you want to play it with the Wu. So that was cool. And you know, was still uh, one of the staple that I exchanged with, uh, with the cyborg. So still running two Subkamama for Floodgate, most of all, one SGR, two Power Burst, the, the, I got like seven target with energy cost of one, I think, yep. So still a hard negate, the new need, and the supported Dark Empire as well. They all work really fine, but there was like a second option. My first option was always Vegeta, of course, because it was just free and just allow me to to do my overload thing. So anyway, there's nothing much to say about that. And the SCR, of course, is Evil Saiyan. And Evil Saiyan is the one that uh, allows me to pressure my opponent when he has like three lives or stuff or two lives. You go for game, you got to look at your opponent life. It's very uh, massive. It's uh, it's Evil Saiyan still and works very well in combat, I gotta say. But I think this is the best SCR in every black deck so far. It's crazy. Even in best of one, you can pressure um, your opponent when he's out of time. And also, I got to uh, the only uh, the only match that I lost was against the SS Force Kun Goku, which he, we were pretty much out of time. He just played this. You deal one damage, set a uh, warp my battle area, and gain cards on your battle area. And, you, and he won for a number of cards in the battle area. So this is pretty much a game stealer, basically, and it's great. So, nothing much to say about the Evil Saiyan. All right, so moving to the side deck, I'll play, of course, two of the Z, Z Balkar Fu uh, with one combo that can be Z Star Kandar. So, there, there were not so many cards that just get rid of this car, like thinking of Gobro, the only uh, the only way they that they remove this car from my battle area was uh, with the minus three of the Migra, which is pretty like expensive. Even after I know that there will be no dormant potential charismatic villain coming, so um, you know. Um, so I, as I said before, I was sometimes I didn't play the Cumber under him, like against Tom with the Baby Blue, big or well, I can't remember. But anyway, so the for the fact that you can keep cards in your Z deck to to having chance to warp cards with higher cost with the seven drop combo but it's you know the, this this car works very well against gobro and even green Gohan because starting from turn two or three there will be always like a four drop on board and this is one of the cards that can give servant if i don't have the other combos uh, if i didn't draw them so i find myself fine with this this is the second one just in case and that's it so the leader and not every 
game that I played, I got the chance to play it because it cost one. And but it's still still against GoPro. I got to uh, combo out cards with servant that was like the eight GoPro card they drop and maybe reddish yes. It's fine to get rid of those cards as, and it's it's a Z leader with 20k power and it's a great shield, I would say, just great wall to and you know at it's a pretty fine Z leader, I gotta say. And also and of course uh, but well there are nothing much to say about that. So the this is my removal Z ball card. I play one of each because uh, right now a lot of people are playing like I was expecting a lot of GoPros and I uh, and I got two on six games against GoPro. The scariest thing about those cards is the charismatic villain. When you play Machine Boo. It's just charismatic villain, you just lost one energy, and that's a terrible situation. So against GoBro, I played this just for having the, um, the removal when it's played. So it trigger anyway after the charismatic, and it worked really well in that way. But I didn't have the chance to, to use the activate main, but still it could be a 25 double strike and could be one of those cards that you can play in late game that your opponent didn't expect. And also you got to get rid of tokens, but both of them of course, to get rid of tokens, negate to the, the blocker token, and that's it pretty much. And last I run one of the surmounting Vegeta, because I, I always play the combo deck very aggressively, I got to say. So when you awaken your leader, you go to six life and you wanted to go for life for super combo and super combo, yeah, pretty much. The six life is always a problem to take it. Or, but now in every case, of course, when you play against aggro, you don't need this, but when you want to take the sixth life and the fifth, the fifth one you got to take with the support of Dark Empire, then you go to four. Then you can play the Super Kamehameha, go to three and Z Awaken. This is the most aggressive thing you can do. And still is just one spot in the Z deck that I lo always log. And that's good to me. But I've never played in six game. I didn't expect that, I got to say, so I I got pretty good draw hand, I got to say, because sometimes you play this because you don't draw your early turn game card, the, your, your early game cards, basically. And this could be a spot for a Z extra. I like the new one, but I haven't got it yet. So the new, the Kamamea from the anniversary box, the black one. But anyway, it's, that's pretty much it for the Z deck. So moving to sideboard, uh, play two silver bullets for blue and for Gogeta basically. Two of the ultimate Dark Dragon Slaying Bullet, I run in I run two of these just for the Golden Frieza and I run the fourth one of these for yellow because I want to get rid of the four drops in but I didn't got any yellow matchup Sunday but anyway uh, so I got three green and this was for green and I didn't have any chance to do the activate main that 
that is a great thing to do against the Gogeta SCR, but I don't have any unison here. There actually is a unison for combo that can give like servant to one of your combo with a plus two, but they need to be six or less and I'm running like two of them. So I just avoid the unison thing. And I just run into the of this for the uneasy and the dormant potential, essentially. But anyway, so Tenacious is it's pretty necessary right now. There are so many deck, all the green decks, um, every aggro deck. You need to stop them somehow, and there's no pretty much um, floodgate in black except for this the, so when you play this your opponent has one swing with Balkar you can just deal leader and maybe unison and that won't then the only Balkar that can attack with all the Vegeta free negate and maybe the power burst and stuff but they all your opponent always swing with a huge Balkar and you just negate with Vegeta and then the other card like leader you can deal with like comboing stuff with Z leader. You just if you if the game worked well you draw you you had access to draw a lot and that game you can win for um, having more cards than your opponent in hand and it's good to see when they swing with leader that has smaller than your leader and you have a bigger hand it's like go for it combo that's fine to me I can keep it so that's that's about the thing you should pretty, pretty much and of course petrification this the, this both of them could be in main deck, but as I said before, um, it's it was a pre-side um, best of one. So I changed it. This got like five game on six. So that's petrification. That's the one of the only way you can get out some anno really annoying cards like the Goku and Gohan boss monster for the green Gohan. and anyway so i played two of the jabura for destruction and it worked really really well against gobro i didn't lost for end destruction instead i got more cards in my hand and because i always left like one or two energy open and when uh, I mean after turn three, Gobro is starting to discard card from you, and this is pretty solid. And you know, and two of Kuitsukai. I was expecting cooler meal, but for any like yellow deck or the mill one deck, like the I played against the Sing Say No Mail deck, this one, and it worked really well. So that's good scribe, basically. So, um, any thought about the tournament is that this deck uh, is struggling against Green Gohan, but I managed to win one. The first game that I had was against Green Gohan, and uh, it worked really well. It was a tough game because it started second, but I was very scared about Green Gohan, but I was expecting a lot of gold bros, and I found myself fine playing against gold bro, and with this deck, because before this deck I was playing the Trunxeno one, and Trunxeno is pretty the opposite, where you can play well against Green Gohan, but you lose to Gobro because Charismatic Villain is a pain for 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 Trunks. But I don't, 
I didn't want to bring trunks because uh, there are a lot of mail decks um, that came out and I was expecting that. So it's basically a suicidal deck playing against mail. And with this guy, I find out that you can overload your own battle cards for saving cards in your deck and prevent you to lose for mail. That was a great thing about the Cumber, I've got to say. But we'll see, I guess, I didn't saw any cooler mail, but we'll see, I guess, cooler mail, it will be, I guess, very tough with this deck. I don't know, haven't tested yet. And all the other matchup was two Go Bros. It was Tom Smith with Blue Baby. And it was a hilarious game <laughs> against Tom because I we were on both of stream and some uh, some of my friends texted me about that the game was insane. So shout out even to to look out that stream our game that did a pretty great job. And so what happened was that I take too comfortable. Uh, I wasn't expecting that baby could be hyper very aggressive in like in turn four where especially having me 15 or 16 cards in my hand so tom uh, told me that as you tap out everything because i was like i have two hard negate i got 15 cards in mind what could be possibly wrong and uh, i i mean I've never played against Blue Baby. I don't know. It, it's just Tom that plays that deck. So I've I've seen that deck like twice in my whole life, and I found out that it's pretty aggro. I got to say, and also I found out that Gone Beast is a pretty impressive secret, right? I got to say, but still, I managed to cover 110k swing like. Uh, 105k swing for game comboing out like 12 cards or something and that's the massive power of combo when you find out the way to draw and of course when your opponent allows you to do it but it's uh there's a crazy draw power that i've never seen in any other black decks before this came out there's also, um, I've seen it in Trunksino uh, a couple of months ago. I've seen it in Miki Kabura right now. I got to test it with a new anniversary stuff. But anyway, so other matchup that I want to mention it was the, the Synxeno Mill one and the SS4 Goku that I've lost to. That was tough because he milled the Time Age in Vegeta on turn one and it did me four damage in when I had like one energy starting second. It, no, I actually start, for, well, whatever. But um, anyway, that's pretty much it. So. Yeah, and that, man, that game against Tom, I, I had to watch that one back when I saw that you guys had been on the stream. And yeah, you're right, that game was absolutely insane, watching that one back. Um, no. But like you say, that's that's just the power of Cumber, is being able to draw like 15, 16 cards and combo out of everything. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much the, the regret that I had, like, I wish I could redo the whole game because I could do handle it, like, way 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 more more better that was a risky game <laughs> but anyway but anyway I, of course i could do the unexpected turn on gombies that would be like a massive play but anyway i it worked well i got lucky from that but uh, maybe and i got unlucky against this is for goku losing for time yeah but anyway course. there was a next one tournament I'm really, I'm so so happy to made it with this deck. So yeah. Very happy for that. Yeah, of course. I'm happy for you as well. Very happy to see my favorite black deck doing so well. Um, yeah. 
Well, thanks very much for doing the deck profile with me, bro. Um, before we finish up, is there any sort of last notes you wanted to give or any shout outs you wanted to give? So shout out to my bro, Gio, best Sin Sharon player ever exist in the world. And shout out to my team minus two. Shout out to you, Oliver and Michael, because they are my black teammates. So always good to share uh, thoughts about black decks, which is my favorite color, has always been. And shout out to Venengers, shout out to uh, Spaghetti Fighters community that has done a lot during pandemic days for this game. And shout out to Lorenzo, with the, uh, Lorenzo doesn't think that we tested uh, the last all the last week that I managed to find out how to play against GoBro and shout out to Raiden Trade and Lookout for that was a great tournament and all the judge as well and thanks for having me Oli really appreciate that's no problem I'm I'm very happy to have you on here bro of course gotta show off what Team that, Minus Two can do that, that's a Huge honor. I'm really happy about that. Hell yeah. And of course, thanks to you guys for tuning in and watching the deck profile, finding out how to play Kumba right here. Um, thanks very much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.